Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Epicor Quick Searches. Epicor has had Quick Searches available at least since Vantage 8. There are some Quick Searches delivered by Epicor and you can create your own Quick Searches. These Quick Searches are an option that not every Epicor customer is aware of or are using. Today we will discuss what these are and how they can be useful for your company. These are the general topics listing what I will cover today and the following slides will give more detail about each individual topic. I will be covering these topics, what is a quick search in Epicor, some examples of quick searches, creating a BAQ, create the quick search, and then create an example quick search for everyone to get to know a little more about Epicor Quick Searches today. I'm showing the examples in, in Epicor version 10.2.300. What is a quick search in Epicor? A quick search is derived from a business activity query or BAQ and quick searches can be used for yourself or you can share them for everyone to use. The quick search can have input criteria that is specific to you slash your company and can help you to use searching more efficiently. A quick search can be set to the default search and can be added to the right click context options. Some examples of quick searches here I listed some of the Epicor delivered quick searches, the Z order line, which you can look up order entry in other places, you can search for order numbers. The Z customer ship line is in customer shipment entry and other places where you can search for pack numbers. Z pack slips ready to invoice is also in customer shipment entry and other places where you can search for pack numbers. There are many others throughout the system. Go exploring. You can also have your custom quick searches. Maybe you want customers by city, state, etc. to be able to look up your customer IDs. Um, maybe you want orders by a product group or open and closed or any other criteria, etc. Maybe you want to be able to look up parts by class ID, search word, description, etc. As many as you can dream up, get creative for your needs. Here's a list of the Epicor delivered quick searches in our 10.2.300 training database. So in, in addition to the ones that I had listed, these are some additional quick searches available in 10.2.300. So the first step to use a quick search is to create a BAQ. You can use an Epicor delivered de, delivered um, quick search. It's just a matter of choosing the quick search option and putting in criteria. And behind that quick search, Epicor started with a BAQ. And creating your own quick search begins with creating a BAQ or using an existing BAQ that will show all the fields you need for both your criteria and to display for your quick search. Make sure to include the key field, the field that you want to return to the screen. And in this example, it would be the order number. Then creating the quick search. Next, you'll go to the entry screen where you will return the data. For example, order entry screen is where you'll return the order number. You click in the field, the sales order, where you would normally type in the order number, and then right click and choose the option toward the bottom for a quick search entry. This will open up a screen where you can create the quick search. You'll start with naming your quick search and that is a personal choice. Just make sure a name so you know which quick search is the one you created for the task. Put in a description and that would be shown in the right click context menu. Then you search for and select the BAQ that you recently created or an existing BAQ and then click the drop down list to choose the key column that you want to return. 
Since we're looking for the order number, we want to return the column order head underscore order number. Then check the boxes on the right hand side as you desire. Do you want the quick search to be shared or only visible for you? Do you want all occurrences or not? Basically where the order number can be searched for or only in the main program. Context default or not? Will this be the first item on the right click context menu after the primary options? And then the base default or not? Do you want to show this instead of the, de the default base search for order entry? Suppress base should only be used if you do not want the base option available to users. Validation only will work if there are no input prompt criteria in your quick search. So create criteria one or mo more and if the returned value is a value that exists in your BAQ, the data continues. Otherwise an exception message is thrown. So from the new menu still in your quick search maintenance screen, you'll choose new quick search criteria <clears throat> and enter criteria similar to what is shown above in the grid view. Notice you have choices for the condition drop down box and for the criteria drop down box. So if you want your criteria to be begins or equals or contains, you have those options. If you, you can choose if you want it to be prompted or value list, etc. And then you can choose which field and give it a label. If you choose the value list, you will also use the new menu and choose new quick search value item to add values to your list. So in this example, we used a value list for the order head open order and we give the values open and closed to display and behind the scenes the actual value is true or false to show if the open if the order is open. So next I'll show a demo of creating an example quick search for you to see from the beginning to end. I will create the customer quick search to search by state, city, and other criteria. If time permits, I will also demonstrate the part quick search by class ID, search word description, and other criteria. So here I'm bringing up the business activity query that we created previously and this first example is the QS customer which I put the QS in front of it just to indicate it's for the quick searches and basically we add the customer table here and we don't have any um, filtering on the table we're going to display all customers and then we're going to choose which fields we want to display that we want to display as I mentioned the key field that you're looking to return the customer ID in this case and then any of the other fields that you would like displayed when you do use your quick search if you want you can put in a sort order but you don't need to so once you have that built you can test your BAQ to see the results etc so for now I'll minimize the um, quick search itself and we'll go into customer the customer maintenance screen. So when you click the customer button you can see that we set it as the default um, quick search. The normal search that you would have is the base search and you can you know choose starting at and then choose the customer but the quick search is by default what we're using and we were using this quick search that I created in um, with the BAQ. Now in order to get it there we went to quick search entry and we'll we 
created our quick search customer ID which again I called QS customer and put in the description of customer search and it uses the BAQ QS customer and we're returning the customer ID then I went to new quick search criteria and new quick search well I don't know if I put in a value list it's just criteria in this this instance I think yes so they're all prompts there's no value list so we want to, the criteria to show the city state name and country and we did the name starts with and country I you can put in the label starts with also because we are using begins here and, and the other ones the city and state we're using equals so once we have our quick search in Epicor and saved and we also chose which options here on the right we wanted if we wanted it shared all occurrences the context default and the base default in this case then if we right click where the customer is we can see customer search is the description I gave it and that would be the quick search so then you can enter different values here to search for if you want to search for all customers in the state of Illinois there you can see we have a few customers in the state of Illinois we can also add the country US and take out Illinois and we should see more results than the seven records because it should be any um, customers who are in the US there we go we have 38 and some of those are the Illinois customers we can see so that's the example of the customer quick search so now we can go back to the BAQ I had opened up also the parts quick search so we have that BAQ created and again we just added the parts table with no criteria and um, we're displaying these particular fields which includes the part number which is the key field and then the search words and description class ID group product group and the part type and if we wanted to we could sort but in this case I'm not the default sort is the part number anyway so we will now close the BAQs because those are the two BAQs that we were going to show and now I'll go into inventory management setup part and if we right click we can see it says open with and here we have at the bottom the part quick search which comes after all the other typical epicor items available but it's the first quick search and we can go into quick search entry to see how we set that one up and that's QS part that's our name our description is part quick search the BAQ is QS parts and we're returning the part number and we can look at our criteria list view and here we can see we did equals for for the class ID and then matches for the description begins with for a search word and the product code equals and the prompt list we did a value list and we can see the value items that we had the part type code we put in purchased P manufactured M or sales kit K so now if we right click and actually open that um, part quick search we can see it's the quick search and it's not the normal part search because we can now choose our purchased or manufactured or whatever so if we pick purchased we can see all these parts that are type P and then if we wanted to do 
uh, search by description. We can put in the word part because some of the descriptions have the word part. So you can see that every description contains the word part somewhere in the description. So that's our demo in Epicore today for how the quick searches work. So quick searches are pretty easy to set up and use and can help you find your data more easily. Remember you can create them just for you by not selecting the share button or you can choose to share them. Have some fun thinking up new ways to use quick searches. Thank you for your time today.